Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I want to do a little eBay video. It seems like it's been a while since I've talked about eBay on my channel. So uh, I wrote this post or published it yesterday and I thought I'd make a YouTube video to go along with it. It's about sorting your active eBay listing by views. Uh, traditionally in the past, it's always been really easy. You went to your active listings, you clicked on the column that said views, and bam, there it went. Either went in descending order or ace ascending order. Um, but you could sort by views and um, it might have been a year now that eBay has introduced the new seller hub and it was something that you could either voluntarily uh, use or you could opt out and stick with the older one well I'm not one for change unless there's a purpose to it and the old one worked just fine for me so I always told uh, eBay to keep the new seller hub I'll stick with the old one and recently it uh, eBay forced my account into the new one and looking at the new layout, getting familiar with it, I noticed that I can no longer sort by views. Um, you can sort by bids, you can sort by watchers, you can sort by time. Um, I'm sure you can do it alphabetically, although I didn't hit that button, so I'm not sure, but I would think so. Can't do it by views. So first, why would you want to, why would you want to sort by views? Well, a couple of reasons. If you have an item that's getting a ton of views, that means there is interest in the item. So if it's not selling, it's worth your time to look at that listing and think to yourself, why is it not selling? Um, I wouldn't change, say, the title because you're obviously getting views. And maybe not the initial picture because it's grabbing people's attention too. But maybe you need more information in the description. Maybe you need more supporting pictures to more accurately describe the item. Maybe your item condition needs to be a little more thorough. There is some reason that people are opening the listing but then not buying the easiest thing to change is the price but that's not always the best way to go about it it's really just losing you money so first you want to look at what other other possibilities are um, for that item getting views but not selling also in instead of changing the price you are usually going to be better off either doing maybe a promoted listing now that everyone can do that on single items um, also, maybe just running a sale on particular items, but think of ways that you can improve that listing to sell. It's getting views, so there's interest, there's traffic, you just have to figure out how to actually get it sold. Um, another thing about views is if you're an eBay buyer, you know, the watch list is very helpful. It helps people keep track of things, um, it'll trigger more emails regarding that item if someone adds it to their watch list. It also helps you with the search rank. It'll bump your item up so watchers are good but it's not the only thing um, if you've done eBay searching even like just researching let's say you research an item you have a lamp to sell so you're researching it right you'll notice that you'll start getting emails from eBay regarding lamps that you had searched for maybe of listings that you had opened and it'll say uh, maybe it'll, the email will say this item's gone but look at these similar ones or there's a new price on this item or uh, reconsider this item there's all these different emails and it doesn't necessarily mean you had to add it to your watch list it's just the views can trigger that so views are an important part of eBay and it is beneficial for you to know what items are getting views because conversely if you have an item that you expected to do well and it's not getting any views at all then it's something you want to that's in a situation where you want to revisit the title maybe you want to put in different keywords and if you go to my website here under eBay help I do have the eBay title optimizer tool that will help you come up with valid uh, and the best keywords for your specific item but if you're not getting views you want to tinker with the title you want to tinker with the picture maybe the picture is not grabbing people's attention maybe it's just not a desirable item and then that's a little bit more difficult to uh, to sell obviously but in any event, views are very important, and under the new seller hub, you cannot sort by views. So I did some digging around a little bit and was able to find another page under selling tools that allows you to um, sort by views. So the first thing I did was on this post, if you go to my website, strongville.net, type in the search bar, anything close to active eBay listings, and this will come up. Or obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description below to this post so you can check it out if interested. The first thing I did was this link because it's much easier 
to just give you the link. You can bookmark the link and then go to it anytime you want to sort by views. I understand that's not ideal, but we're going to go into now how to actually get to this page and you'll understand why I think the link is just better. So as far as I can tell, the link should work, no problem. There's nothing tied to a, a specific eBay account, so it should all work. Um, but that being said, if you want to just find it on your own, and I'm not going to go to the actual eBay page because it shows just all your eBay stuff, and that's too much editing out and just a pain in my ass. So uh, the first thing you do is go to your Seller Hub overview page, or you can click that link there to take you there. Within that page, mine, it's in the bottom left corner, but I know you can, like, organize and move that stuff around. So there's a box titled Selling Tools. So within the Selling Tools box, you're going to click the link that says View My eBay uh View my eBay selling. That doesn't even seem like it makes sense. View my eBay selling. Um, under there's a heading called active selling. You're going to click views slash watchers. Now, when I do this, it sorts by watchers. It does not sort by views, even though it says views slash watchers. That's what the column is. It's it actually sorts by watchers. So, if you go to the URL at the top of the browser, which is basically what this is going to look like, more or less you are going to look for something that says submit action dot sort descend equals X and that's what you want it to say yours might say ascend instead of descend so um, it just depends if the highest numbers are on top or on bottom uh, you want descend if you have ascend just switch these okay just this right here just that part I hope that makes sense. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to have the highest number on top and the lowest number on bottom. And we're going to go back to the URL and you're going to look for columns, column equals watchers. And you want to change that to read column equals views. So if we look in the link right here, here's the submit action descend and the column equals views. So if you do those two things, you will um, you'll be able to look at your listings from most amount of views to least amount of views and like I said uh, I believe this link will work um, but be sure to let me know if you're having any problems with it I can try tinkering with it I would hope at some point eBay adds the ability in the seller hub in the new seller hub to sort by views because there's really no reason to not do it I don't think it's an like an active thing on their part I think it's just overlooked because maybe they think it's not a big deal or it wasn't worth their time to implement it but um, I think at some time they would they would add that there's no no reason to block you from being able to do that so uh, I hope this helps you out guys I hope um, check out my website struggleville.net I already mentioned the eBay title optimization tool um, you can check that out. So it's just this box here. You could type in any keywords you want. The more specific you are, the more accurate the results are going to be. Um, if you have like a model number for an item, that would be really good. Um, but you could just type in something like, uh, what's a shirt brand? Uh, Columbia polo shirt or something. And it'll tell you the most popular terms, the most successful terms. Of people selling similar items items like that so you can pick ones that apply to your item that have a very high ranking every result will have a a number attached to it that is a score uh, the higher the number the better so there's that I also have and this was actually developed I think in 2014 maybe even 2013 my eBay search rank tool you put in a search term that is relevant to a specific item that you have and then you put in your item number and the tool will tell you where your your item ranks amongst everyone else selling uh, items that come up with that search result. So uh, it gives you an idea of if you're on the first page of search results, if you're on the last page of search results. And there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, there's a couple of videos down below, I think, at the bottom of this page. Some tips here and some videos that kind of help you with that. But it's, it's kind of a guess and check thing. Um, watchers and... Um, uh, your seller account as a whole, being a top-rated seller, offering free shipping, there's there's a bunch of factors. But anyways, you can tinker with things and see where you rank in that. 
Oh, let's see. Last thing I'm going to show you guys. This is just because I get asked a lot about specific products I use. Everything on this page, it's uh, essential tools for resellers, are things that I own and use. This is the scale I use. I've used this bo box resizer for about four years, and it's still working. I use it all the time, so it's made pretty well. Uh, this is not actually an item that I own. I actually have a different model that was discontinued. Mine is also the Skill brand, so it's the closest comparable thing that is still available. So this is just uh, all the things I recommend you guys buy or use if, you know, obviously you'd have a use for it. But So, there you go, guys. My first eBay video in probably a month or so. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video a like if you want more eBay videos. And I'll see you guys next time.